सो हेलो डेयर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द बॉडी लैंग्वेज एंड द हाउ बॉडी लैंग्वेज इज कंसिडर्ड इन अ प्रोफेशनल एंड एज वेल एज अ बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन सो स्टार्टिंग विद आवर फर्स्ट स्लाइड सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग द बॉडी लैंग्वेज तो बॉडी लैंग्वेज इज द पावरफुल फॉर्म ऑफ अ नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन दैट रिवील आवर इमोशन इन टेंसन्स एंड एटीट्यूड Uh, by understanding the uh, nuances of body language we can enhance our social interaction professional relationship and personal development actually body language is a kind of a language that is a non verbal type of communication that we have studied earlier slides that uh, body language uh, is not considered in a verbal uh, communication and that can be misinterpreted there are so many disadvantages of the body language that we'll discuss uh, further but uh, the main thing is focus it is a kind of a universal language and that we'll study in our next slide so uh, what is the body language the first of all uh, we define what why and how so our first question is what is the uh, body language so it is a non verbal communication through physical it is like physical uh, like physical uh, interaction physical movement of the hand and head it is a kind of body language and the movement and gesture how a person walk how a person talk the way he talk uh, what he talk is comes under the verbal communication but uh, the way he talks is comes under the body language so importance of the body language uh, is like uh, i just written down some points that play a crucial role in conveying emotions like a person is sad sitting and like a person is just uh, walking on the ground and his body language tell all his emotion what a person is thinking and how person is feeling inside so the next is uh, universal aspect why body language is important so it is a kind of a universal language that uh, uh, it has been said that like uh, if you are in india you can only uh, speak hindi english or whatever the other languages uh, that is popular in india but uh, if you go to america iran egypt so the body language the movement of hand to go and come this is the kind of universal language uh, you can use it to anywhere uh, like uh, sometimes uh, we use to a foreign friends and foreign people like a uh, body language is universal we can say that so moving next so our next point is key component of the body language so what are the key components of the body language the first is facial expression the first one and is the most important type of uh, body language like facial expression emotions such as happiness sadness anger and surprise are often conveyed through the facial expression suppose someone is just looking at you and his the way of uh, looking at you can say that he is just uh, staring or you uh, at you at uh, by anger or he is happy to see you his facial expression is uh, uh, enough to explain what uh, he is thinking about you the next is gesture the hand movement notes and the other gestures complement verbal communication and convey emphasis or clarification but uh, this sometimes get uh, people confused with that but the simple like come um, 1 2 3 uh, this uh, denotation uh, notations are the like uh, the perfect example of a gesture to, uh, that can help you in a body language the next is posture how a person is just sitting on a chair is a kind uh, is tell uh, to be a posture how a person is standing is a kind of a posture of a person like suppose uh, someone is sitting on a chair you can uh, by observing his posture you can say that that person is tired that uh, that person is happy or that person is excited uh, these are the thing that can be explained by the posture so moving next so next one is the interpreting body language so context matters so uh, the context like a person is just uh, happy and sitting on a like chair that we can say that uh, that person uh, the way uh, the day of the person is uh, was well but uh, if we just in- interpret body language in the context of the situation individual personality and the culture norms the uh, sometimes the body language also different from by culture of the people and sometimes how the thing that happen with the people it all matters so next is a cluster of cues to look for cluster of body language cuz rather than relying on isolated signal for accurate interpretation uh, you can't uh, like interpret uh, like uh, means accurately uh, by observing the body language of a person that he is happy or he is sad or he is just going through any trouble because the uh, observation of so many uh, factor observation of so many gesture observation of so many things on a, in a person can definitely tell you the real posture or the body language of a person the next is culture awareness be mindful of culture difference in body language to avoid misinterpretation like sometimes uh, there are some communities of the people they are like uh, always have their own body language and have their own like perspective and according to their perspective their body language different or uh, differ from person to person so we can uh, cannot say that 
uh, by looking at a person we can understand totally that his person is sad that person is excited or anything it uh, totally different from person to person so moving next slide a particular uh, practical application of the body language so the first one is social interactions so enhance communication uh, communication and uh, report by paying attention to both verbal and non verbal cues like suppose a person is talking the way the what he is talking can be understood by the verbal language but what that person's intention that is uh, his hiding inside can be understood by the body language the next is professional setting uh the use of body language to project confidence authority and third wordiness in a job interview presentation and negotiation in job interviews uh, the body language is mostly observed like how a person is sitting on the chair in front of the interviewer so all things are observed there next is leadership leadership uh, like leaders are totally identifiable like uh, there are a hundred group of people if there is a one leader he can be identified just because of his body language because the inspiration the motivation that comes under the person with a, a full inspired person or a leader uh, so uh, the body language can also help to understand the leadership and make yourself the skill leadership is strong the body language is too much important for that so our next slide is body language and conflict resolution so uh, how a conflict resolution what is conflict resolution suppose uh, like some uh, somewhere there is a conflict and how you or your body language is just going to uh, resolve that conflict uh, we are just going to understand and Underst- uh, identifying emotion understanding body language can help identify the underlying emotion in a conflict suppose two person are just uh, like in a conflict Uh, by uh, just observing the body language we are just clearly say that uh, which person is like arrogant which person is like uh, soft speaking and which person is like uh, totally like uh, disagree with that the body language is too much important in that next is address effectively addressing this emotion effectively can facilitate conflict resolution if you are just uh, like uh, reading the body language properly then you can uh, resolve any conflict if you have the good conflict uh, re- conflict resolution capabilities next is enhance understanding if you uh, enhance the understanding of a body language that doesn't comes under one or two days but definitely uh, you will just uh, probability of getting the good chances of solving the resolution is higher if you adjust daily and daily and uh, if you improve yourself daily and daily so uh, em- empathy and consideration of the body language cues can enhance understanding between parties so body language and personal development so body language is also connected with the personal development as it was uh, connected it is connected with so many things the first is self awareness understand your body uh, own body language to improve communication skill and relationship if you are understanding another person body language first you have to understand yourself how your body react on the something how your body gets sad how your body uh, react on ar- arrogantly first of all understand your body language the next is confidence use body language to project a confident and assertive presence suppose you are going somewhere and uh, your body language is uh, enough to just show that you are totally confident in the field uh, in spite of you don't have any knowledge about the field but your body language clearly uh, have to seen like that that you have the good confidence that you can just go uh, from all of them so the next is empathy interpret other body language to enhance understanding and emotional intelligence so body language also uh, makes you uh, able to understand the others and uh, just bring uh, emotional intelligence in you so the next is mast- mastering the body language so the first one is observe and reflect like observe the things read more and more uh, psychological and body language books then that will develop a uh, uh, good skills of the body language reading uh, in your body so uh, the next is practice and refine the way to improve anything is practice 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 and then it will be definitely refined so experiment with a different body language technique and adjust based on the feedback suppose you are just uh, walking like a, a tired person so uh, by observing and getting feedback of a person that you are looking tired you should improve yourself and just like uh, the way you talk, uh, talk the way you walk should be changed so seek feedback you must have a uh, uh, listen that to change your a person a uh, feedback is too much important so ask for honest feedback from trusted source to improve your body language skill so next is embarrass diversity uh, like uh, always promote diversity like uh, you can't say that a person uh, body language is the person body language like every person have their own body language and have the right to uh, choose their own way of walking the own way of talking 
so we can't uh, like uh, mess with them so every diversity should be respected so that's wa uh, was all about the body language in this video and for other videos and the other topic of the professional and the business communication and the communication related presentation i have just made a uh, playlist in my playlist section and all the slides are there so just go through it and thank you uh, for watching this video so see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye